Hello everybody and welcome once again to Super Mario 64 with the Nintendo Samurai. Now, I've just completed that level there, except for the 100 coin mission, which again, I'm doing later. This is a, a lot of episodes being recorded at once, by the way. I am actually going to go and take care of the, uh, the one over in Jolly Roger Bay right now. I'm going to get that done. I'll take care of Boo's Manor another day. I'm not doing that one today. Let's see, Jolly Roger, that was up here, right? Right, okay, so I'm going to take care of the one that I needed the metal cap in here for. And then, uh, you know, see how that goes. Through the jet stream. Okay, so what you can do is you can use this metal cap, or you can be smart and go for the other one, because that one's not going to last you long enough. So I'm just going to do a bit of a long jump over here, climb on up. If anyone doesn't know, it's actually quite difficult to jump out of the water for the most part. Best way to do it is hold on the joystick, like hold back on it, and then press the A button. The other way to do it that's also fairly simple, good job, is to press both down and the A button at the same time, because the, the swimming controls are slightly inverted. So you pull back on the joystick to pull up, okay? So that that's basically how it works. Come on, come on. Oh, you fucker! Not fair game. I wonder if it is quicker to go for the other one. It can't be though. No, it's because I slammed instead of long jumping. Anyway, those. Can't remember what I was. All oh, right, swimming. It's actually quite difficult to jump out of the water, but if you do those things, like you tap back on the joystick and you press the A button, you should be able to get out of it pretty quick, pretty easily. Like, no real problems. I don't have any problems with it anymore, so... Should be fairly simple for most people. Oh, I think this is so much quicker than falling, actually. Oh, except for when you do stuff like that. It's just a little awkward, is all. Come on, Mario. No, you fucking bastard. Alright. I really do hate this now. I don't know why it's such a problem. It never has been in the past. It's one of the easiest ones to get. <sighs> if I take anything more than this try here, I'm going to fucking scream and then edit. Edit, edit, edit. Come on, fall, you stupid metal bastard. You should be weighing lead, not steel. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, why doesn't he fall further forward? I do a long jump and I'm holding forward the whole time. Finally! Here we go. That's all I wanted to do. That's all I fucking wanted to do. Through the jet stream. Okay, there we go. I'm probably just going to cut out the second attempt because it was stupid. Next. Alright, so that finishes off Jolly Roger Bay. Like 100% I'm almost certain. In fact, I think that kind of finishes off the whole first floor. The basement's the only thing that's not quite finished yet. So let's, uh, let's take care of some of that right now, actually. Let's go into here. This one costs you 30 stars. Well, you don't have to pay it, but you go in when you have it. Reacting to the star power, the door slowly opens. So as you enter, you can see there's this bubble in the way, and behind it, there's a little thing in the ground. That is actually where Bowser is. What we're doing right now is boarding Bowser's sub in this beautiful, beautiful level. This is so beautiful. Watch out for that, that is actually a whirlpool, it's not a jet stream. In this level, there are two sections once again. You swim through here to get to the second section, which is actually where Bowser's sub is. If you were a kid and you didn't know this, you might have done a different one first, but you also might have died trying. It's back there with a treasure chest. You kinda have to hit the treasure chest in the right order again, and frankly, it's not the easiest one because the final one is right in front of the fucking stupid whirlpool. So, on that note, <coughs> let's just go up here. This is where we're getting out of the water. It's easier to do it this way than it is to do the jump out of the water thing. Although it pushed me back in, so I'm just going to jump out anyways. There we have it. You press the switch. Up over here we go. There's Bowser's sub. Looks, uh, looks pretty fantastic, right? Yeah. 
obviously it's all got this flat deck and oh look, look at that beautiful picture of Bowser which is very much akin to Bowser from Super Mario Bros. 3 so looks pretty awesome that way also a little bit akin to the one from Mario World it's like a mixture of them so I'm not even going to attack a Bowser just yet I'm going to continue in this one here Chests in the Current. This is the one I was talking about. This is the one that fucks you. So, I'm just gonna try it. Let's see what happens. Just like with the last ones, if you hit them in the right order, you're good to go. Otherwise, you know, whatever. But they will also give you a bubble to refill your uh, breath. One. Oh, wrong one. Get away from it, otherwise it'll zap you again. <laughs> it's not a very fun ride. I'm pretty sure that is probably the second one. The one I'm going for over here is pro oh, well, maybe it is the first one. It's hard to tell. Nope! It was definitely not the first one. Ow! So, this one over here is the first one then. Yay! Give me some air. Alright, I have a feeling that this is actually the third one here still. I don't think it's the second one. I think this is gonna hurt me. Nope! It was the second one. Okay, cool. And for some odd reason, that bubble still reached me. That was pretty amazing. Third one is over here, and as I said, the final one is right in front of the whirlpool. Dangerous as shit. So be very careful. There's the third one. Bubble got me. Let's go back around. Oh, I should have had a drink of water. I forgot to do that. So, and there is the last one. The worst part is, you kind of have to be facing towards the whirlpool to get it. And that whirlpool has quite the pull on it. I'm just going to pull away from this for a second, collect some coins, get some of my air back, because apparently metal holds enough fucking air in it to help you. No, 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 no! I'm dead. That's why I hate that level, because you get going, you give this little miss, and I keep forgetting that unlike in Banjo Kazooie where you press the one button and it's a slow one, and you press the other button and it's a fast one, no you don't. In this one, all of it is controlled by the A button. You tap it, you swim fast. You hold it, you swim slow. But swimming slow in the current isn't something that works. So you gotta be a little bit less, um, I don't know how to put it. You, you just gotta be a little bit more aggressive. But the problem is when you do that towards it, you kinda get screwed. But you have to do it towards it to be able to get to the chest. Wrong side of it. Wrong side. There we go. Oh, my sisters will remember this level and probably hate it just the same doing this. Of course, I don't even think they... Well, no, they they probably... Okay, yeah, they probably got it. But it was probably one of those things that it was a pain in the ass for them just so much as it is for me now. There we go. Finally got me. Alright. So we are going to try to line ourselves up in front of it a little bit. Maybe swim slowly to it. Swim away, swim away. Okay, there we go. Swim away, swim away, swim away, swim away. There we go. Got it, got it. Okay. Safe and sound. Again, this is another one. This is called Dire Dire Docks. I don't know if you've been reading that or not. But this is another one that does have a 100 coin mission. So I'm probably just going to, as I said, compile everything together. Because why not? I just don't want to have to do them right now. Pull jumping for red coins. We're going to go back into the other area for that. This one's fairly simple. Is it kind of is self-explanatory. You pull jump for red coins. Kind of there. You didn't see them yet because before the submarine was kind of taking up the whole area. It made it look a little bit less grand than it is. Because the submarine was making it look that way. You, you know what I mean. The submarine was the focal point, kind of making the rest of the area look a little bit less than what it was. So you come into here. As you can see, there is no submarine now. Or at least you can see for sure now. What? No, it's still here. What the? Normally it's gone. I don't know what's going on. I think you have to beat Bowser for it to leave. Never mind. Because they're normally expecting you to go in, do that one go into the pit and beat Bowser. Whatever the case, I guess it's still here. That's strange. I'm not used to that at all. So you come over to here instead of the other one. You climb up over here. That, that's the thing about those switches. They'll almost always make these appear. It's very... 
You won't let me do this. You cheeky little fuckers. Pardon me, but until you defeat Bowser, apparently that sub is in the way. So I'm going to take care of other stars instead. This one here. I was hoping I wouldn't have to. Let's see, if I just sit here, should be able to hit them all. They don't give you any air, but you get five of them, and another star will appear. I like how the last one looks a little more solid. Now you might be thinking, oh sweet, we only need the metal cap. No. No, you actually need the invisible cap too. Because there's a wall in the way down there. You can't see it, but there is. So you collect the invisible cap, which is, funny enough, not quite invisible. And the cool thing is, <clears throat> this is one of the few times you do a combination of the powers. Now you're invisible and metal. Again, it takes forever to fall through water, which I understand. Water's kind of thick, but still, you're fucking at least steel, if not iron, possibly lead. Actually, most likely lead. You're the most malleable metal there is. So through the jet stream, there we go. That's another one. I think I got one more star in me for this episode. Yeah, I'm not doing pull jumping for red coins. Thanks, but no thanks. It's actually impossible. So, but you might have noticed this stingray is basically giving out the same kind of rings. So you swim through these, and <clears throat> I don't know how I missed those two. That was weird. But you have to get five in a row. Okay, I guess I'll wait a second. Jeez. You have to be lined up right perfectly, apparently. Oh, come on. That was a hit. Ugh, game. Two. Three. Four. Five. There we go. And then the best thing is it puts it right in the middle of the whirlpool. Yay! So if you screw up, you're dead. It's kind of what it is. The good thing is it's above it enough that it doesn't have enough pull to suck you and kill you. I can't remember what the last star is in there. <clears throat> what in the world is it? Well, I can't remember, so um, perhaps I'll go and start the Bowser level in this episode. Because I've got a couple minutes left. So, no message this time. You just kind of get shoved into it. This will move. Uh, I was watching... Or poor Aaron tried to play and he didn't realize that one moved. So he would jump on it and then he would long jump to that place where I got the extra life and then he would fail and die. Well, not quite. He, he did make it to the end, he did eventually beat it, but it was just it was so just heartbreaking to watch it. You know? A game that I've known and loved for years. Aaron of Goom uh Goom Grumps. Game Grumps. Goom Grumps. <laughs> Aaron of Game Grumps just doesn't like and never really played. It just seems so weird. A little bizarre, really. Most people played it. Even if they didn't like it as kids, they played it enough that they knew the mechanics, but apparently he doesn't. Which, I mean, you know, that's fine. It just seems a little strange that someone that's as big a gamer as him hadn't. So, whatever. Again, we are going for the red coins in this. Because, you know, why not? Get an extra life for free as long as you go to the very top. Touch the elevator and get it to go, but then jump off. Because, fuck off, that was another red coin. And I missed it. So I'm going to punch this guy a few times. Or not. Or not. Ow. Just run through the heart and leave. Run through the heart and leave! There we go. Bit of a high jump! Yeah, that's how you do it, folks. Not what I did before with this red coin. So you step on that, you let it go, and then jump into the middle area. And that's why they put the heart here, because you have to fall and get hurt. And they don't want you to continue on without all of your health intact. Otherwise, they rarely do give you the hearts. It's usually when they make you fall. So, there's another one. Bites the dust. Let us continue here. There isn't another red coin until we get over here, I think. And I think it's up top there. Alright, 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 I get it. You don't want me to survive. That's fine. 
careful along here. This, although basically vertical, can be ran up. It's a little bit weird. There we go. Bit of a long jump. Oh, I just made it. This platform here will rise and fall. It's a little strange, but it's kind of cool. The neatest thing is it can bring you to different levels of, well, literal existence in the game. So that red coin wouldn't have been able to be gotten without doing that. That brick over there, same thing. But it does mean it's sort of like an elevator, so you have to wait a second sometimes to get up to where you're going. Which, again, really isn't a problem. And I really hope the audio isn't as bad for you guys as it is for me in recording. I know I've listened to my audio on this before, not like my vocal audio. And it's been okay for the most part. That bomb just blew up and sounded like a bully dies when he dies. Oh, please! No! Okay, I don't know how that didn't kill me. I think it's because I hit the fire after only losing two hearts from the lava. Oh my gosh, I should totally be dead now. Holy shit. That was surprising. I I should be dead now. What? Is there nothing? I thought there was a red coin up here. I guess not. I know I saw one just down here, though. That's where the star appears. That's why. And grab on. Yeah, there we go. Can't remember, does this get me right up to the top? No, it doesn't. Almost does. Oh, this is going to hurt. Ow, 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 ow. No, no, no. Oh, man, Mario. That was close. I'm going to wait a second and let it do its thing here. I'm surprised he doesn't burn his hands doing this. I know he's wearing gloves and all that, but goodness. That is some hot lava. I'm going to go back down there to the heart before I go after Bowser. Because goodness. I have to jump down very carefully, aren't I? Because if I fall too far, I'm going to die. Ugh. I guess... That works. Okay. Jeez Louise. Heal it up, Mario. Holy crap, that was closer than I thought it would be. I, I know I'm still freaking out about it, but goodness. I have had so many close calls in this level right now. Like seriously, I should have died several times. Not that I mind being alive, but still. Whoop! In we go. This is the second Bowser battle. I'm just going to continue recording this. I was actually going to stop her way, but... Whatever. Pestering me, blah, blah, blah. Sorry, I forgot to read all that. He jumps, and as you can see, the stage... slides. Or tilts, should I say. So if you get behind him right now, you're basically golden, because he's right in front of one of those things. So... Just... Aw, oh, what? That should have been a hit. That should have been a hit, you cheeky little bastard. Nope. No blown fire, you. Nope. Oh, now he teleports. I forgot about that. I think that's in this level only. And... Okay. Once you let him see you, he will go a little bit slower. But otherwise, you have to run around him really quick. So, which is sometimes a bit of a challenge, because if you hit him, you get hurt, obviously. Die. So you only have to hit him once. Again. And I think I'm actually going to end the episode here, funny enough. I will see you guys in the next one.